uh, and they'll be looking to address the transfer window as well they've got to get rid of a load of players you don't need me to run you through the names they'd look to sign some key positions as well center back left back a midfielder and a striker David Ornstein there talking about the positions that Manchester United are going to be looking at in the summer transfer window. Left back, centre back, central midfielder and a striker. I want you to let me know in the comments, do you think four signings is enough for Man United this summer? What I'm going to do, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's taking ages to prep. I'm going to run through Manchester United's squad. I'm going to rate each position out of 10 in terms of the strength in depth. I'm then going to take a look at some signings, add them in and see how much better we are. Is four signings enough? And what I'm also going to do is take a list, take, take a run through of a list here. If I'm going to rebuild the squad, what are the key areas I'm looking to strengthen? Not just in terms of position, but in terms of, you know, physical capabilities, technical capabilities, leadership, lots of stuff. I'll run through it all. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. It's a big summer, a big, big summer coming up. And if David Ornstein's correct, and we go for four signings, right? Left back, centre back, central midfielder, and a striker. Is that going to be enough? Because when you take a look at the squad here, what I try to do is take a look at the squad, uh, the starting 11 and the backup for each position. There's some players not on there. So Ericsson's not on there. Campbell not on there. Forson's not on there. So there's some more you could add into it. And gave it a rating out of 10 in terms of the strength and depth I think we've got there. You can see where the weaknesses are. All right. Central midfield. I think it's the biggest issue that we've got. Biggest gaping hole. Injuries have made the centre-back situation worse. But neither of them are looking pretty, are looking rosy either. Luke and left-back, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. And I'll give it a 3 out of 10 with Hoyland because I just think, well, if Hoyland's injured, we've got absolutely sweet FA in terms of up front. So arguably, you could, you could probably even drop Hoyland down to a 2. I'll leave it as a 3. And Onana in, in goal would buy in there. I think Onana, I think right-back, goalkeeper, the two ad aggressive number eight positions, I think we're fine. Question whether we've got enough depth on there because Garnacho started 30 games in a row, but I don't think we'll be able to afford to... Well, depends if we go after Elisa. But you can see there where the big weaknesses are in the squad. And what I want to run through now is just a, a list of things that I've written down. If I'm rebuilding this United squad, what exactly am I looking at doing? All right. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm signing athletes. All right. It's Man United's biggest downfall. It's not just because of Eric Ten Hag's style of football and the amount of space that they've got to cover. And that's part of it. But if you look at how Pep's team has developed in the Premier League, they've gone from the ticket tack of possession to physical monsters. You look at Arsenal and Gabriel and, and Salibra and, and Rice, they've got some monsters in there. Not all of them, but there are traits that go across Liverpool, Arsenal and, and City and what they've got and what United don't have. And we just don't have enough people who are athletes, on and off the ball, especially out of possession. That's a big reason and probably the biggest thing we need to sort this summer. But also technical quality. The drop-off from the starting 11 with, the, with the, those players to the second string, painful. And especially when it comes to technical capabilities. In terms of attitude, approach and mentality, I, well, that kind of goes without saying, man. Where is the leadership in this squad? Players that we thought were leaders last season, well, largely been injured this season, but then other players, they haven't stepped up whatsoever. But it boils down to that one key thing for me. If you want to be challenging for the Premier League or the Champions League or both, ideally, you need two key quality players in every single position. And that's where Manchester United just simply fall down badly. So what I've done here, you'll see in the next slide, slide, geez, it's not PowerShop, it's not PowerPoint presentation at work. Anyway, I've added some players in and I'll run through it. Okay. And it's not to say that we are going to sign all these players in, in each of these positions, but you get, you'll get to the point, right? Where I, I think we need two center back signings. All right. Ornstein, David Ornstein was speaking about four signings overall. Spotted out. I don't think that four signings overall is going to be enough for Manchester United this summer. Now the two center back signings I've gone for are Tadebo and Branthwaite. And I think if that game then gives United left centre-back options of Branthwaite and Martinez and right centre-back options of Tadebo and Maguire because I've let Varane go to Saudi Arabia, uh, I've sold Victor Lindelof, in my head anyway, Victor Lindelof and Johnny Evans, uh, he might stay. And also we've got Cambuada there. I think that is incredible strength in depth. And of course, Branthwaite can play across both left and right side of centre-back. Now at left-back, I've gone for Patrick Dorgu. We spoke about him, the 19-year-old, I think, from Lecce. 
it strikes me that Eric Ten Hag is going to try, well, whether it's Eric Ten Hag or Manchester United, we'll try and sign a young up and coming left back in the same way that we tried to do it with Taro Malasia. I don't know whether Malasia is going to be in next year, but I think if we sign somebody of that quality and Luke Shaw can refine his fitness next season, which again is a huge question mark, I'd probably have to put that down, actually, I'd reduce that down to a six. I'd still have major concerns, really, even, even if we sign a left back because of Luke Shaw's fitness. Now, up front, I've gone for that. I know people are going to laugh at me down there. Danny Welbeck. The reason I put Danny Welbeck there as, a, as an alternative to Hoyland is because of the age. He's free. Pretty sure he's a free transfer this summer. And the amount of money we're spending elsewhere. And also, the biggest one is here. I've gone for Onana and Hulmund. Onana from Everton, Hulmund from Sporting Lisbon. Again, I don't think we're going to be able to afford these. Both of them. But I think for us to have to get that up to a nine in terms of strength and depth, I think we need two central midfielders in that position. I think we need two centre-backs, two central midfielders, a left-back, and some form of striker. That's six signings. So I would actually say that we need two more than what David Ornstein is suggesting. Or maybe he's not just suggesting, maybe he's just saying that these are the four positions they're looking at, a left-back. Maybe he's saying centre-back, they're looking at two centre-backs. And I think we should be looking at at least two centre-backs coming in and at least two centre-backs leaving. Would you be happy if that... Like, I'd be delighted if United made six signings this summer. How many did we make last summer? I can't remember. Hmm. This is such a big summer. And the really annoying thing is that we don't have our CEO until the 1st of July. We don't have our sporting director. He won't be part of the club this summer because Newcastle are greedy. Uh, and Jason Wilcox will be in, but he'll probably be the most senior man. It's going to be Wilcox... Barada from the 1st of July and Dave Brailsford were basically leading how we look at signings. But in terms of characteristics and, and the weaknesses inside this squad, I think we need to fix is signing athletes, technical quality on the ball, actual mentality, resilience, quality, all of those things combined. And overall, leaving United in a position where we get two top quality signings or two, two top players per position. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to afford all of this. Branthwaite and Tadebo and a young left back, and two central midfielders, and a backup striker. All without Champions League football. It's going to be tough, which probably means we're going to sign one centre back. In an ideal world, we get two. This is what I would like to see United do to someone, not to, not to say these players per se, but signing two central midfielders, signing two centre backs, signing a young left back, and signing either a young, or pro I would probably say a more experienced striker is what I think we need to go for. That's why Danny Welbeck's there. And it could be, there's plenty of others, like Taremi, who's just gone from Porto, he's going to Inter, I think is a free transfer. I, I don't know who, but a striker like that. That's what I think. You can let me know what you, what you think in the comments. And if four signings you think is enough to transform this Manchester United squad, and it needs transforming.